Happy New Year! Just as I headed off for my Christmas and New Year break, I saw the news that Automation Anywhere, which IDC tracks as the number two RPA vendor worldwide by revenue, had announced its acquisition of Fortress IQ. Now, Fortress IQ is a process intelligence specialist with its roots in task mining, but also the ability to create insights across longer running processes. Uh, it was founded in 2017 and currently has around 70 employees. Most of its customers are very large enterprises in financial services, although it's also uh, got uh, active business in retail, CPG and healthcare. And most of its business uh, to date has come from the US market, but it's also starting to expand outside of the US. Now, a lot of customers use Fortress IQ to drive automation discovery, but they also use it to drive discovery for other kinds of transformation initiatives too, including things like system replatforming and training programs, those kinds of things. Now, these technologies, these discovery technologies are very hot. For example, a brand new IDC survey, which we just completed around the holiday time, shows that over 70% of European organizations with business automation initiatives plan to implement process mining in the next two years. And just under 50% uh, are also planning to uh, start using task mining. And this isn't the first time that Automation Anywhere has attempted to get into the business of automation discovery. In March 2020, it launched its own in-house developed discovery bot, which provided uh, a range of foundational task mining capabilities. However, discovery bots are uh, an integrated uh, bundled component of the Automation 360 platform. So right now, it's really about enabling Automation Anywhere to help its customers scale their automation initiatives, and it's not really about revenue in its own right. Now, core RPA technology is commoditizing rapidly and Automation Anywhere, just the same as other uh, vendors with a core RPA proposition, has really had little option other than to broaden out to find other ways to add value and to differentiate. So the acquisition of Fortress IQ obviously opens up significant potential new opportunities to grow. Uh, for automation uh, anywhere to cross sell, for example, and also if it decides to continue to promote Fortress IQ as a standalone thing to play a role in other kinds of sort of broader transformation initiatives. But it also propels the RPA vendor firmly towards the heart of uh, a new battleground. And I've spoken before multiple times in these videos about a kind of battle royale that's now underway as a diverse set of vendors attempts to build positions as orchestrators of automation and AI technologies, providing end-to-end -end enterprise intelligence and automation platforms. Automation specialists like UiPath, Pegasystems and Appian are already part of this story, as well as vendors from more of an analytics background like Silonis and even Click. Long-time enterprise application vendors like SAP and ServiceNow are very active, along with long-term enterprise platform vendors like IBM and Microsoft. And the question is, can Automation Anywhere thrive as it's pitted against this more diverse set of competitors, many of which are larger and have longer pedigrees and histories? This is going to be a big challenge. And one key to success is going to be its ability to sell a broader, more strategic proposition to wider communities or business and technology buyers. Automation Anywhere has experienced a significant degree of executive turnover in the last year, but it has added some serious pedigree too. Its new COO, Mike Micucci, uh, was previously CEO at Salesforce uh, Commerce Cloud, and Raj Mistry, the new European EVP of sales, was previously in that same role at MuleSoft. So let's see. I'll be watching with interest as Automation Anywhere uh, continues on its journey to try and uh, build that proposition as an enterprise end-to-end -end provider of automation and intelligence capabilities. If you enjoyed this, please do the usual things like, share, subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. Take care, everyone.